What's good, everybody? We are live on Twitch. Shout out to everybody right now. No, I'm not drunk. I, I got some. I got some uh, tequila in there, man. Don't, 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 don't make. It's a Saturday. Don't make me, boy. Shit club don't close till five out here. All right. We about to react to how to make Southern Soul Food Style Fried Catfish easy. Let's get to the video. What it do, Flight Crew? FTC. Flight T stand up. It's September. I guarantee you it's about to be a month to remember. We got Chef React back in the kitchen as promised, man. We making good old Southern fried soul food style cat. First thing you need is some so fresh and so clean, clean. Bro, they like tilapia. Negro, let me find out you got the wrong fucking fish, Flight. That look like tilapia. Catfish fillets. Yeah, at least thirty. Bro, no way. No, no way. No, is this tilapia? It no. Yeah. This look like tilapia. You thaw out catfish easily by either leaving it on the counter for like a couple hours. You can do it really quickly by using cold water. Use cold water, just hot water. You know what I'm saying? You have a chance to gather a bacteria. The seasonings and all. I know my fishes. I know my fishes. Oh my, bro, bro flight, bro, bro. I'm stopping the whole video, bro. It, bro, when you put that down the package, that's tilapia, bro. Throw the whole video away, bro. Oh my so gosh, bro. Get your canola oil. Canola oil is gonna cook to that perfect high point temperature that you need at 350 degrees. Canola oil does not matter the brand. <laughs> Negro, you, you misspelled eggs. And you know damn well you don't do this. You don't cook. You don't know what, you don't know different from a teaspoon, from a, 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 a tablespoon, from a cup. Stop this camp! You Google from your phone, you forgot to copy and paste because they wouldn't have two S's by eggs. Get this oh fresh oh clean, my little God, bro. You, you can't make pepper. this up and fight, bro. Ooh, look at that catch. You gotta save <laughs> NFL contract. Sign me. Creo kick in that bit. Little salt, little black pepper, little Kanye red pepper. And you know what I'm saying? Parsley flakes afterwards, and that's just for decoration. You don't have to have parsley flakes. I just like to, you know, it's just for look, you know what I'm saying? You need your all purpose flour, doesn't matter the brand. You need your cornmeal up in this bit. You need some mustard. You need two eggs, doesn't matter the type. Uh, Louisiana hot sauce or any type of uh, certain hot sauce, you know what I'm saying? Just a little bit of that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he said Kanye get a measuring <laughs> cup, <laughs> you a glacier bag, Kanye. you know, the, the extra large, the biggest type you can find. Um, you need to get you a little thermometer, get you a big knife, get you a little cutting board or, you know, whatever, the, the fish board, whatever you call it. Get you a whisk. And last but not least, get you a frying pan. All right, y'all. So primarily most of this stuff is going to be hands-on. So, you know what I'm saying? If you don't see my head, it's not because we have a neck that's too long. Any... This is like the wet batter we're going to use first. Okay, let's just get this out the way. Got the mustard. We got the egg right here. Already cracked it in there. Put it in there. Now with the hot sauce, you don't put like really too much. It's really like two tablespoons a tablespoon with the hot sauce so you put flight if your girl live lives with you fire her get a new one put it through some kitchen lessons and, and it is a big tip for everybody watching right now bro all right and what i'm saying here bro this don't this, this don't look like home you know what i mean bro you got a hand sanitizer right here, bro. This should be like this. This should be, it should be hand sanitizer. It should be like you know detergent. You know, not detergent, but you know things to wash your hand. Hand soap. You know what I mean? Some Dawn up there, bro. You know what I mean? It. You know, just about. Oh shit! I can't say that. I'm sorry. You know what I meant? Oh no! I didn't mean the 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 the, the kitchen analogy. I didn't. I not. I didn't meant that, y'all. Twitch, do not do not be me. I, I I meant as in a way because like you know if you got you guys know if you got a girl in your house, bro, like they always take the kitchen, especially the the, the, the department where you wash your hands. They they take that with 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 uh um with with pride. You know what I mean? So what they do is like it be clean. You know what I mean? It be clean. It be, everything be straight and professional, bro. You gotta know what I'm talking about, bro. Be real, bro. Check, have my back, bro. Have my back. Have my back. Check. Come on. Be real, bro. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, bro. 
Oh, man, y'all made it sound bad. Facts, though. You know what I'm talking about, bro. Bro, I don't know. I don't know Twitch new rules, y'all. I don't, I don't I want to run about it the wrong way, bro. That much in there just gives it, a, you know what I'm saying, just a slight kick. And anybody that has a worry about, like, if you have problems, like, you know, handling spicy stuff, I'm the same exact way. It literally just has no effect. You're just part of, like, the good old seasoning practice. You know what I'm saying? Get your good old mustard. I think this is brand new. I got to open it right quick. Then you just don't put a tad bit of mustard in there. I say about, that's probably Gucci right there. You know, that's probably about two tablespoons, you know, of mustard. And then you don't get your whisk. You know, right here, I actually uh, switched out the whisk to the other one that wasn't looking uh, as much as clean and everything, sanitary acts. And now you're just gonna go ahead and whip that batter up, you know what I'm saying? And so you kind of want it to be at a, like, you know, density looking like that. Now we're gonna have like two different sets of seasoning. We're gonna have first in the cup, that's gonna go into the bag with the flour and the cornmeal. And then we're gonna have the remainder and we're gonna mix that actually with the, you know what I'm saying, a wet batter. That's why I wanted to save the cup for last and get the wet batter out the way first. All right, so garlic powder. Flight. Like, just because it said, just because you Google the word cup doesn't mean literally a a a a cup. That's not that's that's. They meant a a, a cup is a measuring device that stands for a cup. Jeez. <laughs> he put it. He 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 put it in in a cup, y'all. Like, he think because you put it in the cup is our. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Don't go too crazy, but put a good amount of it. You know what I'm saying? I say about two tablespoons worth for each season. You know what I'm saying? Paprika, you know? I say something just like that. It's the same thing, same style as lemon pepper. Um, some people are probably like, how can you not use the, uh, what's it called, the air fryer? In my opinion, when it comes to like real, real high tech soul food, such as like, you know, fried chicken or catfish, you're gonna always have a better time frying this stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's always gonna taste better on like a frying pan, or even if you got like a frying thing itself, that's gonna be even better. All right, so we got them sauces or uh, seasonings out the way. You're gonna have to get your good old Creole kit, you know? Just a little bit of that in there, you know? Why not, you know? Just, you always wanna make sure you wanna be able to taste everything. Get a little bit of Kanye pepper, not too much. For Kanye? me, it has a little spice to it, I believe. You can even taste it, I almost feel like I'm about to sneeze in a second. That should do it right there. You got your onion powder. All right, y'all, now after you get all your ingredients and seasonings all in that one cup, you know, go ahead and give it a little good mixture and everything, similar to that lemon pepper thing, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it's always easier to put all the seasonings in a cup instead of just having like six or seven different mini cups and you know what I'm saying? Just wasting more trees. You know, I can be recycling. Pro recycling reaction is better. All right, so, you know what I'm saying? You can like, come on, man, just smell that so dang good. We talking to a person who cooks every meal. He probably cooked noodles in an air fryer. And you think we about to take some cooking advice from you, bro? You know what I'm saying? Just back, 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 back up a little bit. All right, next what you guys wanna do, get your big plastic glacier bag that I prefer that you, you can use, or you can just get a bowl. Really doesn't matter. I'm gonna get about, you know, almost damn near the whole bag of cornmeal if it's just like, you know, this type of bag where it's just pulling it open. It, it doesn't make any sense to just save this little much because what am I gonna do just randomly make two things of cornmeal? If you spill a little, it's okay, all good. And you know what I'm saying? Get the same amount of flour, almost like two cups, but you can kind of tell by the eye. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you just gotta kind of multitask. I gotta kind of multitask with it here. All right, y'all, now you're gonna get your cup with the seasonings and then you got your cup with the so fresh and so clean, clean cornmeal and the flour mixture in there, you know what I'm saying? Kind of, you know what I'm saying? Mix that good stuff up and that bit. Now what you're gonna wanna do is that the seasoning that's in here, you can take about two, I'ma go for three, uh, just full spoonfuls of seasoning, and then watch what I do with the other uh, part of the seasoning. This is a little cool trick. So like when you dip the fish in there and everything like that, you get a cool clean coating. With uh, the season up, fumbling some of the season, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna get a little bit of half that to recover. All right, so you're gonna put all that in the bag, okay? And now, don't toss the remaining of your seasoning out here. And then now, also for pleasure, because you guys know there's people out there that always have the seasoning, you know what I'm saying, police out there. You are also free to use as much, you know what I'm saying, as you desire, you know what I'm saying? But I think this is like a perfect amount if you know what I'm saying, want to have a good, decent health, you know what I'm saying, and you know, want to live that, you know, like long, like, like 200 plus years old, right? Everybody's gonna live to 200 plus, yeah? All right, so like, anyway, the rest of the seasoning, 
you don't take it and put it right there with the wet batter, okay? And we're gonna put that to the side now. And now this, that season that's in the plastic bag, just kind of give it a good old shake, you know what I'm saying? Just kind of mix everything. This is our first time doing this. You watch somebody else do it. Who do you think you fooled it? We didn't come here for, Flight, thank you so much for the recipe at the beginning of the video. You missed me on eggs. Um, but we didn't come here for you cooking. <laughs> Came here for the jokes, bro. And you giving it to us. Thank you. Because, bro, you can't cook, bro. What, bro, Flight, what are you doing? Bro, you about to pitch a hole in the bag right here. Why are you so mad at the bag? Thing in there, <laughs> saying mix that other seasoning that you put with the wet batter. Man. Cold mix. You know what I'm saying? You want it to look just like that. Next step, I prefer you get a bowl because we already just got our catfish nice and open. I went ahead and patted them down. A for effort, though. Paper towel. A for effort. Um, and it's not you don't really got to, but I prefer that you do it. It gives everything a nice little last little touch to it. And then you got the other fish on here in the wrap. All right. So what you're gonna do? You know what I'm saying? I just finished like washing out the bowl and everything. You're gonna just go ahead and just simply put your fish all up in the bowl. Cause what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our wet batter mix and we're gonna go right ahead. Now, but just keep your wraps out because you're gonna wanna spread the fish out and let them kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, marinate with that season a little bit for like a good like 10 minutes. I Kind of like right all the bowl and everything. You're gonna just Bro, that catfish looks so sus, bro. That's chat that's be bro, I'm, I'm not trying to make jokes. All my fishermen out there. Is that tilapia or a fillet catfish? I'm telling you, I I, I, I it, it, it. Somebody said it's a dog, bro. <laughs> that's tilapia. That ain't no catfish. That ain't no catfish. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just go ahead and just simply put your fish all up in the bowl. Because what we're going to do, we're going to take our wet batter mix and we're going to go right ahead. Now, but just keep your wraps out because you're going to want to spread the fish out and let them kind of like, you know what I'm saying, uh, marinate with that season a little bit for like a good like 10 minutes, I say. Um, you know, on the racks, but not too much because you got to remember that this fish is already like, you know, thawed out as raw fish. You want to cook it as soon as possible. Got the fish in the bowl. Now, with your wet batter, you're just going to simply just put it just like that. You know what I'm saying? Put it just like that. Whoa! Put it just like that in the bowl. You know what I'm saying? Can't be fumbling the batter. We good. All right. And now, do not be afraid to get your hands dirty. You can get some gloves or whatever you uh, prefer. But do not be afraid to get your hands dirty. You know what I'm saying? You want to make sure all parts of the fish is covered in that good old batter. This is that mustard, the egg wash, and the, um, what else? The, uh, the little uh, hot sauce uh, mix. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? With Kanye. It. And then right after we finish doing that, you know what I'm saying? You can spend about like one, two minutes on it. You don't got to do it too crazy with it. You can get a bag or a bowl, you know, because I did say that you can just use a big bag, glacier bag. You can really put the egg wash you know what I'm saying? In a whole nother separate glacier bag. But I prefer a bowl because I like to kind of get in there. And, you <laughs> yo, know what I'm saying? yo, I, I, I'm going to get shout out. Every time I react to videos, y'all, come from, come from Twitch. This is good. <laughs> somebody said, what is that, bro? <laughs> bro, somebody said, the, uh, <laughs> he about to get Minecraft green hearts. What did they get? That's a good comment, bro. I got, I'm going to give people jokes that they props, bro. That's a good one. Minecraft green hearts, bro. And just make sure everything is nice and uh, marinated the right way. All right, so what you're going to do with this one very, very lastly is bro, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. That's all you funny, bro. Hey, this guy right here, he's funny, bro. You funny, dude. Real talk, bro. You got to be black, man. And I'm not saying like black people just funny, but your jokes, they hit. They hit they, they they hit me in the right spot. You funny. Hey, 
and uh, you know. Wait. Black people don't play Minecraft. Never mind. It could be something else. Okay, speed it up on this part because it's going to get kind of boring. I don't want to make sure I, uh, you know what I'm saying, go too fast. You're going to take the uh, the fish, you know what I'm saying? You're going to put it in a bag, give it a decent little shake or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Then place it on the rack, you know what I'm saying, one by one separately. Brain you know hit saying? it so for the sub, bring, though. And then our fish and frying pan is already ready to cook and all that types of stuff. And we're going to put it right up on it. If your frying pan ain't making that noise, it is not ready to be cooked. I say it gives it about a solid 15 minutes. You're in the final boss stages. You're in the final stage. Flight, stop acting. Stop. You're cringing me because you don't know how to cook. Stop trying to play it off. This is your first time actually. Bro, that skillet never been washed. You don't have no residue on that skillet. You just bought it from Walmart or wherever you bought it from. Stop capping. You're not that guy. You never, you never cooked. You watch the YouTube video. You order on Amazon. That skillet is brand new. LTC equals first time cooking, man. <laughs> Before you can enjoy your delicious soul food southern man. fried catfish. All right. So all you're gonna do is just transfer it over seven to eight minutes, and as soon as honestly you see. Your catfish start to float up to the top. It's pretty much ready. And then I got my thermometer. You're going to measure it. <laughs> With an air fryer. I guarantee that air fryer will look clean, though. <laughs> guarantee y'all, bro. Something like that. And, you know, don't be afraid to even turn your oven stove. I'm backing up because, you know what I'm saying, I ain't going to get popped by the grease. I'm going to go ahead and put two in there. I'm going to put two at a time. I think that's fit the frying pan. Uh. You know, <laughs> keep it just like that. Seven to eight minutes. And as you guys see, I'm gonna get to that 145 temperature. I'm trying to focus. Who use the temperature in the chat? Be real. Be just be very real. Who use the temperature? No one. If you're an expert cook and you did this before, exactly. Camera. No one uses it. Yeah, but yeah, 145. You know, you want <laughs> Never the old fish. 160-ish. You know? You don't do that on fish! Come on, man. I don't think you guys are seeing it. You guys ain't seeing it. Come on, man. We got one final touch left to do. Actually, two final touches. You know what I'm saying? I already got that temperature. I already did my temperature pre-check, but just for the ones out there that just want that extra proof, there's nothing wrong with that. I like mine's at about 160, you know? You like yours ordered through Uber Eats and Postmates. That's how you like yours, like. Almost 165-ish. That gives it that extra well done, you know what I'm saying, flavor. Right. Somebody said it look like chicken tenders. I mean this. And what you just do, this is just optional. Uh, you know what I'm saying? This it look good, though. I ain't gonna you count. Have the it look good, though, like. little bit. It's for decoration. Just don't change the flavor of nothing. Or does, you know what I'm saying, to give it spicy or anything like that. It's just cool little decoration. It's just like having good. whipped cream on, like, ice cream or something like that. Like, come on, man. You know, for the final touch, you know what I'm saying? Comment down below what you prefer on your fried catfish. You know, I either like the ranch or I like the Louisiana hot. That's valid. I get some W's in the chat. That Louisiana hot sauce is validated. There's no better hot sauce out there that tastes better than Louisiana's. I don't, and I'm not saying that because I'm from Louisiana, y'all. If you know, you know. They got all the imitations, all the fences. There's nothing like Louisiana's. Hot sauce, but it's just bro. Why do like somebody did a dry bowl on his fridge, bro? Like I got six bully holes up here. Damn, flight. Quick take test right now because we only gotta do it. It's only right. Like, come on, man. Oh, it's just like when you see this final piece and everything comes to life. Come on, this is just one of the easiest things you guys can make, man. Be sure to give us a thumbs up. Woo! Mmm. Mmm. That southern taste hits you right away. You taste all the seasonings from the garlic to the onion powder to even a little bit of the tapasco sauce on top of the tapasco sauce. It's still not spicy. Give that little slightly little well done crunch flavor. If you, you know, I say, cook it over like two minutes extra. So maybe like 10 minutes total instead of like that six to seven, eight minute mark. Let's be real here, chat. 
viewers. Uh, the hot sauce did carry the the uh, uh, tilapia nuggets, but it did look good. Um, that's, that, that was pretty good to say it's your first time cooking. Flight. Be real. You throw you throw in an air fryer you, and you come streaming through videos. Let's just be real, bro. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. We out here. Shout out to the chat coming through the live stream twitch.tv backslash cash nasty. Game in. Good night!